dragonflies were an enormously popular motif at the turn of the 20th century, and they were interpreted in many different media. Most frequently, the dragonflies are oriented facing downwards with their wings splayed open. An example of this popular configuration can be seen nearby in the dragonfly reading lamp, which has a cone-shaped shade and a brilliant turquoise background. This lamp was designed by Clara Driscoll, also the designer of the wisteria lamp, and she won an award at the Paris Exposition in 1900, a World's Fair, for this inventive design. Now take a look at the dragonfly hanging shade before you. It too is decorated with a dragonfly motif, but the design is strikingly different from the dragonfly reading lamp. In this one-of-a-kind lighting fixture, the dragonflies buzz around the lampshade. Their bodies arc and curve as they seem to dart around, hither and yon. They appear to be in a constant state of motion. And you can almost hear their wings buzzing. Although at first glance this design might appear chaotic, it is anything but. The dragonflies are actually arranged in concentric circles and they become smaller as they reach the terminal point, a green glass turtleback tile at the bottom of the lampshade. Transparent glass jewels, these little turquoise cabochons sprinkled throughout the surface of the shade, become focal points for bright little pins of light that punctuate the opalescent glass of the dragonflies and the background of the shade. The result is dragonflies that seem to dance through drops of liquid light. The dragonfly hanging shade is one of the most important shades in the Neustadt collection. It is one of a kind, meaning it was the only one known to have been made. No other example exists.